At the Museum of Modern Art, the Danish designer Jens Quistgaard, who was born in Denmark in 1919, was featured in the exhibition What Was Good Design between the years 1944 and 1956. Quistgaard's design for Jord Flatware 1953 was displayed as it indented and impacted the Danish design world whilst heavily linking to Dieter's Rand's principles as it was not only elegantly designed but functional. The teak wood and stainless steel cutlery set was created by Quisgard for a competition for George Jensen. At the George Jensen silversmithy, Quisgard apprenticed under Just Anderson, which is where he furthered his skills after being taught by his father how to sculpt and carve wood. The competition in the 50s led to Theodore Nirenberg discovering the flatware set at the Danish Museum of Art and Design and forming Denk's international design with Jens Quistgaard as a primary designer. The Fajor flatware set is one of the items that is mass produced by the company as its design of warm wood and functionality of the stainless steel spark Denk's international design. Jens Quistgaard's design displayed Dieter's Rand's principles as the Fajord flatware was innovative, understandable, long-lasting, honest and thorough down to the very last detail. The use of the teak wood was innovative at the time and was what made the set so outstanding as it was the first of its kind to combine the natural wood with the affordable stainless steel. Teak is an expensive tropical wood as it's extremely strong and durable, which would support the lifespan of the product. The use of the stainless steel is an affordable option compared to silver and is less likely to tarnish. Quisgard not only considered the quality of the design, but the main purpose. Quisgard's flatware set isn't complicated or unnecessarily technical in the way it's seen or formed. It's simplistic, understandable and honest. It's quite clear that the Fajord flatware set is a flatware set. And finally, the flatware set is thorough down to the last detail as Quisgard is extremely passionate and considers all aspects of his work, which is touched on in his documentary film A Saucepan for My Wife. The Fajord flatware set wasn't Quistgaard's only success over the years, as he created the Flamestone Dinnerware 1958, the Brass Candle Holders 1965, Festival Table Top Collection 1960, and many more during his long career as a designer. He also designed a 7,100 square foot home in New York in 1961 for the Danks founder Nirenberg. Nirenberg lived in this house until his death in 2009. Jen Quisgard also received plenty of recognition for his work as his designs have been displayed in exhibitions all over the world. He also won awards such as the Lunning Prize 1954. The Lunning was known as the Nobel Prize amongst Scandinavian designers and was given to designers that showed much promise in the decorative arts. I haven't done any sculpting before so it's difficult to connect with Jen Quisgard. however I'm under the impression that his style is greatly different to my own at this stage. I'm a tad rough with my process and nothing is completely perfect about my final pieces in the way they are delivered. My work is more unrefined, however, researching about Quisgard has helped me to view another approach. Quisgard's work is faultless and clean. He seems to have taken his time and thought about materials greatly as he was passionate about refined detail. A connection would be our similar needs to keep our work simple without adding unneeded detail to complicate the work. Quisgard tends to just use one or two colours for his designs, which I quite like and admire. I would like to incorporate the perfection and honesty in my work just like Quisgard does in all his designs. 
Chris Gard's flatware set clearly belongs within the category of good design as he has created a product that is transparent in function and memorable in materials. Thank you.